This is the guy of Georgia Outdoors, and we are at the Skinner Rack, which means that we had a pretty successful afternoon. I got my buddy Josh here, and we are going to be shooting deer on the crop permit. We have the uh, ATN X Site scope, it's daytime, nighttime, and uh, on the permit, that is legal. So, uh, before you uh, leave a comment below, that is legal. And this is necessary between the hot weather, the drought, fuel costs. Uh, this farmer's really taking a hurting from all the damage the deer do doing to his property, so uh, it's a uh, something we enjoy doing and we're helping the farmer out along the way um, if you haven't done so hit that subscribe button because there's plenty of good content and this footage is going to be kind of straight to the point because we didn't get a lot of extra footage but we did get a deer some of our important gear is the Bushnell Equinox this is what I record the video with um, and get you know our spotter this is a night vision we got the uh, 243 with the uh, ATN XI LTZ, which is their lightweight version. I really like this one. It's pretty intuitive. It's a real simple to use. Um, that is a 243, which savage. is savage. Yeah, it's a savage 243, which is a perfect round for shooting deer and coyotes and hogs. It's got really low recoil, so we like that one. We use the uh, shooting sticks, which is a must for this because that does weigh a little bit. And we got Josh, who is our uh, behind the gun tonight. We're going to see if he can. Uh, we're gonna see if he can do it. He's proven himself in the past, so he's a pretty good gunman. All right, me and Josh are making a stock up on these does. We're probably 125. All right, it was a relatively rough and cool. hot afternoon. Very hot. And then uh, we actually had went and looked at every field and didn't see anything. And we were calling it a night. And we rode back to the original field we started and seen three does in the back. And, On our uh, way out. We made I mean, a stalk back here. I would say 100, 120 yard shot. Give or take. Yeah. We're not certain if we uh, if he hit. We, we can I think it. he did. We're about to go back here and look. But uh, just a fun afternoon. It's hot and hot as can be. I don't know if you can tell us where we are. But uh, we're gonna see if we got this deer. More that way, one. Yeah. I just didn't want to drive all the way across no, this. Way. We have found a little bit of blood here. That's where she's coming from. So apparently she got her right here. This is how you get ready for deer season right here, guys. Look at that in her head. I really wasn't a bad shot either. <laughs> uh, what did you want to say about marksman earlier? <laughs> huh? Look at that. That's a big old doe. That is a big old doe. In all reality, didn't run maybe 30, 40 yards out the back of that field. Um, big old doe, no fawns with them uh, tonight, just uh, three big old does, so uh, we struck doing? again. <laughs> struck again, baby. One shot, one kill. All night, baby. How much you weigh, Josh? 115, 120? I want to say 120. But like we always say, when you put me and you together, 
me and Blake, something's gonna die. As you can tell, we're back at the Skinner Rack and that was a pretty eventful night. There's not a lot of footage because to be honest, we didn't have really any action. Me and Josh got there about an hour before dark and said in the uh, edge of the field, didn't have any luck. We went to all the fields, didn't see anything. And on our way home, we uh, looked back into the field we originally set in and there was three does out there. So there's not a whole lot of footage going up to it, but I would say about 125 yards and Josh put a great shot on that deer. Didn't run maybe 30 yards and uh, kind of gets you in the mode for deer season. So uh, tracking a deer, shooting them, it is hot. But if you're in Georgia hunting, especially in bow season, you know what it's like to hunt in uh, hot weather. This deer, we didn't weigh it, but it's one of the biggest deer that we have ever killed. I bet you she's at least 120 pounds and I have cleaned many of deer. But the record around here for the biggest doe, actually held by that guy right there. He killed a doe that weighed 131 pounds and we weigh all our deer. So uh, he's, uh, he's cleaning it out right now. We're going to uh, put this one in the walk-in cooler, get some deer meat, cause uh, we're just about out. But uh, just a great uh, hunt and great afternoon. So uh, we're gonna finish cleaning this out. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. But as you know, this has been the unofficial, no doubt incomplete guide to Georgia Outdoors.